Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you Scarface The World Is Yours remastered project. Okay, this is a fan-made mod for Scarface The World Is Yours. This is a pretty old game. It's like from the PS2 era. Okay, uh, it's pretty hard to get it running on the modern systems. You need some patches and everything like that. I'll show you how to get this up and running. Okay, so this is the remastered project. Okay, let me show you. Uh, it saves and everything, all right? So it's actually pretty cool. Okay, you can see I can actually load from a save. But let's start from the beginning. Uh, you want vibration, no, no tutorial. Okay. What happens? Okay, let's skip the cutscene. You just get unlimited ammo. And I'll show you a bit of the open world. Okay, let's with this game. I'll load into my save. So that that's the intro part. Okay, so once you've passed the intro, you, you get into the open world like it's kind of like GTA. Okay, let's load into my save. All right, yeah, this is the, the open world where you drive around. Okay. Yeah, it actually runs, runs really smooth. And like, it's a remastered project, so it's a fan-made mod. It upgrades the textures, it makes it look a lot modern. All right, so if you're interested in revisiting this game or, or you've never played it uh, and you're a fan of the series, of the movies, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Okay, so let me quit. Um, this is actually a video requested by one of my Patreon members. I don't really talk a lot about my Patreon, uh, but yeah, I do appreciate all you fans who support me through Patreon. This is my Patreon page. If you're interested in supporting me, Okay, Patreon is a lot better than the YouTube member because YouTube gets a 30% cut. So if you support me through YouTube, uh, a big portion, 30% of that goes to YouTube. So yeah, you might want to check out my Patreon. Okay, uh, I've currently got 308 members on Patreon. Uh, most of them are three, like free members, but uh, there's 39 of you who are paying. So big shout out to you guys. I know a lot of people like list out all the names who support. You guys know who you are. Thank you for supporting me. If you want to support me, head over to Patreon and like the member that requested this is called Hamad Karim. All right, shout out to you, Hamad Karim. So he was like, sent me a message. I was wondering if you can make a video on the Scarface Remastered Project installation for Steam Deck. So this is your video. Thank you for supporting me. Let's get back to my Steam Deck. Okay, and I'll take you to desktop mode and I'll show you how this is all done. See you back there. Okay, welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. Well, first thing, let's check out the files that you need first, okay? So I did all the game installation and all the patching and all that on my PC, and then I transferred the whole game folder to my Steam Deck, okay? So I did all this on the PC because there's one step uh, that need the, the mod, there's an installer that needs to be run on the administration rights, and I couldn't get that running on the Steam Deck Steam OS. Uh, so that's why I did it on the PC. Okay, so I don't think you can buy this game anymore. Uh, legally, you should have the CD-ROM if you purchased it back in the day and then, I don't know, maybe rip it. Um, and, you know, because PCs nowadays don't have CDs. Okay, so once you've got your game installed, okay, you should have a game folder that looks something like this. Okay, and then there's some files you need to download. 
Okay, I'll link some of these. Okay, so this is the remastered project retail. So this is the mod. I'll link this in the description. Okay. And then there's also another one called Fusion Fix. Okay, I'll link this also. It's a mod. All right, Fusion Fix. So two of these files. So once you've got these two files downloaded, I think they're on Nexus Mods. Okay, so first thing you want to do is uh, on your PC, on your PC, this is the remastered project mod. Extract it to your game folder, the root of your game folder. Okay, so yeah, don't do it on your Steam OS. Extract it onto your PC once you've installed the game. Okay, I'm extracting it right now. And then also extract the Fusion Fix. Okay, so you can see there's a few files. There's a scripts folder and then there's some DLLs. All right. So also, same thing, extract these, including the scripts folder. Extract it over to the root of your game folder. Okay. And here are some files that I won't be sharing because... Um, uh, the, the page that I got from also has the game where you can download and I don't want to share that. Okay, because there's a few things you need. Okay, there's uh, something called the game patch because you need to update the game to 1.00.2. Okay, so you might want to check the version of your game. You can see here, uh, I'm using this version, the North American version of Scarface, The World Is Yours, patched to version 1.0.2. 1.00.2 okay and also uh, you want the no CD patch because this is a pretty old game back in the day those EXEs uh, once you launch the game it looks for the CD-ROM and make sure you have the CD okay uh, that makes sure that you purchase the game with the CD uh, but the Steam Deck uh, the PCs nowadays don't have CD-ROM so you won't be able to run the game you need this uh, patch Okay, so no CD patch for, for this game. And also there's a patch called the Silent Patch. Okay, uh, it's an ASI and has some DLLs. Okay, also drag this over to your game, the root of your game. Okay. What happened to that readme text? It was open. What was that? Let me double check. Fail to open. Okay. Not sure why that text file. But yeah, that's just the readme. Is it opened or something? Or maybe it's opened up. Okay. Um, and then we're supposed to be running this installer.bat. Okay. So on the PC, right click it and then run as administrator. And it's going to bring up a like a DOS window. Um, and I chose number two. Uh, so it extracts the, the movies and everything. Um, and then you get all these files. You get all these RCF files. Uh, it makes it easier to run the game, I guess. Um, so yeah, just extract it. And then and then once it's done, it's done. Okay, and then you can just transfer the whole game folder to your Steam Deck. Okay, And it would look something like this. Okay, That's what I did. Okay, And then uh, onto your Steam Deck, once you've got your game folder onto your Steam Deck, look for the Scarface exe right click it add to steam okay and then onto your steam library i've got my scarface file here okay so the target is in my downloads scarface remastered file scarface this is the game folder then scarface.exe all right and then you need to add this launch options so proton underscore use underscore wine d3d equals one then space percentage command percentage i'll like Put this in the description. You can copy and paste it. Make sure you got it correct. Okay, and then in compatibility, I'm just using Proton Experimental. Okay. All right. And then if you want to um, limit the frame rates because uh, the frame because it's a pretty old game, it runs at really high frame rates. It might be a little bit too fast. Okay, in the game like the files, there's also a file called. Let me see. Uh, D, yeah, this one, D3D9.ini. Okay, you can click into it and you can limit the frame rate. So, yeah, I think it's a good idea to limit it to like 60. Zero is unlimited frame rates. Yeah, so I'm going to make it 60. Save. 
Okay. So if you want to limit the frame rate for the game. Okay. And then, yeah, let's run it. Let's run it. All right, you see it. Yeah, perfect. The game runs. And at the start of the video, I showed you in gaming mode, works the same. Works the same. So yeah, let's load. That's it, guys. That's how it's done. Fairly simple. Nothing too complicated. I think everyone should be able to do this. If you have issues, let me know in the comment section. Don't ask for game files. Definitely won't be sharing game files. All right. Oh, you're fucking dead, man. All right. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Yeah, it's actually a pretty good game. Honestly, oh, I didn't complete this game. I played a bit of it on the PlayStation 2. I think I played it at a friend's place or... I can't really remember. I definitely didn't buy this game on the PS2. Alright. So yeah, leave it here. Thank you for supporting me. Let me know in the comments if you have any issues. See you guys in the next one. Later.